Here are a few parallel stories in the Gospels about Jesus. In Matthew, Jesus was born in Bethlehem in a manger. King Herod sent out a decree that all infants under the age of two must be killed. So Mary and Joseph fled to Egypt. After King Herod had died, they left Egypt and went to Nazareth. In Luke, Mary and Joseph's story begins in Nazareth. They are called to Bethlehem for a census by Caesar Augustus. And it's here in Bethlehem is where Jesus is born in a manger. After Jesus' birth, Mary and Joseph and the infant travel back to Nazareth. In the book of John, people heard that Jesus was coming, so they began to prepare for his triumphant entry by waving palms and praising him, crying out, Hosanna! Jesus found a young donkey and he sat upon it. This was instated as the prophecy in Zechariah that he would enter into Jerusalem on a donkey. In Matthew, Jesus sent two disciples to find a donkey and a colt. The disciples brought back the donkey and the colt to Jesus, and they placed their cloaks on both of the animals, and Jesus rode them. As in John, the prophecy was fulfilled that Jesus would enter into Jerusalem on a donkey and a colt. How one man can ride two animals at one time, only God knows. In Matthew, Jesus was hungry. So as he traveled, he walked up to a fig tree, but it bore no fruit. Jesus cursed this tree, saying, May no fruit ever come from you again. And at once the tree withered. The way Mark writes the story is very similar. Jesus was hungry. And as he was traveling, he walked up to a fig tree that bore no fruit. Mark points out that it wasn't the season for the tree to bear fruit. However, Jesus cursed it and said, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. As they went on their way, one day later, they came back and the fig tree had withered. In Matthew, Jesus is crucified on Calvary. His last words were recorded in Hebrew as Eli Eli Lema Sabachthani. At once the curtain tore in two from the top to the bottom. The earth shook and tombs opened. Many saints were raised from the dead and went into the holy city and appeared to many. Similarly, in Mark, Jesus was crucified on Calvary. However, his last words were recorded in Aramaic as Elai Elai Lama Sabachthani. At once, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. In Luke, two of the Galilean women went to the tomb to see where Jesus was buried. When they arrived at the tomb, the Lord was not inside. Two men in dazzling apparel appeared in front of them, saying, He is not here, he has risen. According to John, one woman, Mary Magdalene, came to the tomb where Jesus was buried, but the stone was rolled away. She went and told Peter that Jesus' body was missing. Immediately, Simon Peter and another disciple, whom many believe was John, went to the tomb but did not find Jesus. Mary was weeping outside, and she looked inside the tomb where she saw two angels in white. She turned around and saw Jesus before her, alive. The variations in the presented stories matter not in the infallibility of the Bible, but matter only in the disciples' narratives of Jesus' life and actions. If these differences challenge anything, they challenge the reader to acquire more knowledge of the Gospels.